I'm just going to demonstrate how to create OAuth client credentials for the YouTube Data API to use with YouTube Bulk Upload. So there's instructions in the YouTube Bulk Upload README on GitHub. Um, so if you scroll down a little bit, there's a section here for creating client secret. Um, in theory, you should be able to just follow through these instructions, but I thought I'd make a video to demonstrate how to do it, uh, which makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to just be clicking the links that I've put in these instructions. Oh, Sorry about that, uh, to demonstrate how this works. So if you've never used Google Cloud before, um, you might have some other steps when you click on this link to go to the Google Cloud console for the first time. Um, I'm not sure exactly what those steps are. It's kind of hard for me to reproduce because I've used it before, but you might just need to like enable Google Cloud or something for your account. Um, the next step is to create a Google Cloud project. Um, so that's what my second link is. So it prompts you for a project name. I would encourage you to just give it some sort of descriptive name, like, I don't know, YouTube bulk uploader or something like that. Um, but you can name it whatever you want, as long as you'll recognize it in the future. Um, you have to give it a moment for Google Cloud to create this project. By the way, if you've never used Google Cloud before, um, this is like a way to host code stuff in Google servers. Um, for money usually but they have a bunch of free stuff and interesting things there it's used by software engineers deploying apps and websites and things and so once you've got the project created um, the first thing you'll need to do is enable the youtube data api so i've got a link that takes you straight through to that api ready to just basically click the button to enable it uh, but you can also get to it through the sidebar if you click on apis and services and go to like enabling them and etc youtube so i'm just going to enable that and this is granting access to this Google Cloud project to use the YouTube API. It doesn't give you any credentials, it's just sort of enabling that one, because Google have loads and loads of APIs for different things, and you know they don't enable them all by default because it kind of prevents, it makes it slightly harder for someone to abuse your API key if you've enabled an API key or something. Anyway, once we've enabled that, then we can go to configure the auth consent screen, which again, I've sent you a link that should take you directly to this page. Uh, but if it doesn't, you can go on the sidebar, click APIs and services, and click auth consent screen, and that should bring you here. Um, so this is kind of pretending you're building an app uh, is what this form is for. It's like it's ha what you would do if you were trying to create an app that uses Google's APIs for something, and you need to grant your user, you need your users to be able to grant permission for your app to access their account. Now, we're kind of just creating a dummy app here for you to access your own account, so we don't really need to worry about these details too much. Um, but you will need to fill in the basics that it asks you for. So it asks you for a name. I'd probably also just put like YouTube bulk uploader. Uh, you need to specify a support email. You have to specify your own email address here, I'd say. Um, that'll probably be the default on your Google Cloud account. Uh, I think the only other thing it requires is a developer contact. I would also just put your own email address in there, um, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and then on the next screen, it asks you about scopes. So this is step five of these instructions. And basically, we just need to add one scope, which is access to your, well, full access to your YouTube account. Um, just to be clear, this isn't giving me access or my app access. This is giving you and your credentials that you're about to create access to your Google account. So there's nothing you need to worry your YouTube account. So there's nothing you need to worry about here. I'm just explaining what it does. Um, so you click add or remove scopes, search for YouTube here, and select the top one, which is kind of the full access to your YouTube account one. So it says manage your YouTube account. Tick the box, click update, and that will add it to this section, your sensitive scopes. Um, and it's a sensitive scope because if you actually were building an app that you were sort of giving to other people to use, and they grant this to your app, that's kind of a sensitive thing because it potentially gives your app the ability to do anything in their YouTube account that you know they could delete all your YouTube videos or something. Um, they could upload nonsense, you know. But anyway, this is just for you, so don't worry about it too much. Click Save and Continue, and that'll take you to the test user screen. Now, because we're not actually going to create a real app that's live in production, this is just for you to use with your own account, you need to add yourself as a tester um, because you're not actually going to publish the app. We're going to leave it in testing mode. So if you add your own Google account, um, so whatever your Google account email is, um, that's what you want to specify here. Uh, this should be the same email address that your YouTube account is owned by. Like whichever Google account owns your YouTube channel, use that email address here. Click add, and then it should appear in this box here. Save and continue, 
and then it'll just have a summary page and that's you done with this bit. So you click back to dashboard. Now we're on step seven, which is almost the last step. So we want to go to the API credentials page. So I'm going to go to that link. And that's just this other bit in the sidebar, by the way. So if you were on the dashboard, you can just click credentials here. Um, so now we've got the auth consent screen configured. We want to create a auth client ID. It will ask you for an application type. It doesn't really matter, but I would specify desktop. I would give it a sensible name. So again, I'd probably just say uh, like YouTube bulk uploader. Yeah, that's probably fine. Um, click create. And that's us done with creating a client. Um, and click download JSON. Now that JSON file I just downloaded, which is now in my downloads folder, is quite a sensitive file. It's got secrets in it. So you want to make sure you're not like sharing that or like sending it to someone else because it's for, it represents your app that you've just registered with Google uh, for your usage of the YouTube bulk uploader. Um, that's the file that we're going to specify in the YouTube bulk uploader GUI. So that's us done with everything in the Google Cloud now. We can close this. Technically, you are done with these instructions. But I'm just going to test them to show you how it works. So I am going to launch the YouTube bulk uploader GUI. Uh, this is the first time I've launched this from this directory, so it's got a pop-up. I am going to specify my folder of test videos, although I've actually only got one video in there. Um, I'm going to specify the file that I just created, this YouTube client secret file which is in my downloads folder right now. And I'm going to click run in non-interactive mode and see what it does. Oh, <laughs> it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Uh, project has been deleted. Oh, I think I know what's happened. Give me just one second to fix this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just fixed the issue. That was my fault because I had a temporary file that was stored somewhere else from a previous version of testing this. Um, but so what should happen? Uh, once you specify the client secret that I've just specified, and we click run, you should get a pop-up like this. So this is the OAuth consent screen, actually, um, where essentially you are authenticating with your app, which in this case is YouTube Bulk Uploader, to give it access to whatever account you want to upload videos to. So you want to specify whichever Google account has your YouTube channel associated with it. And then if you have multiple YouTube channels associated with that Google account, I actually do, um, you, need, you want to specify whichever one is the one you want to upload your videos for. So for me, I want to upload them to my personal account for now, or my personal YouTube channel. Uh, but just make sure you specify wh which channel, which YouTube channel you want to upload to. And then it will warn you that Google hasn't verified this app, which is normal. We haven't published it. You know, it's still in testing mode. And you'll only get this screen if you successfully added yourself to the test users screen that we were configuring earlier. Um, but that's fine. You just click continue on this. And then it just warns you again, like YouTube Bulk Uploader, which is the app you, app name you specified, wants to access your Google account, make sure you trust it, and you're granting access to manage your YouTube account, which is all to be expected. So we click Continue. And then it'll just say, the auth flow is completed, you may close this window. All right, great, we'll close it. Um, and then if we go back to the YouTube Bulk Upload GUI, we can see actually it, you know, in the logs, successfully searched the YouTube channel and uploaded a video, authenticated and uploaded it successfully. So let's actually just go and check and see if it did upload it successfully. I mean, I assume it did because it said it did, but let's find out. There we go. We got a video. It's still pending because it's processing, but does it work? It does. We got a Great. So that's how to create your YouTube client secret with access to the data API, authenticate it to use for yourself, and then actually use it to upload a video to YouTube. Good luck. If you have any issues, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to help. Cheers. Bye.